Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Official letter addressed to the French national representation by the Parliament of Western Armenia. Passed away Rustam Gasparian's son, he is also seriously injured. Enemy launched large-scale offensive in the northern direction of Artsakh. The city of Milan recognized the independence of Artsakh. The Luxembourg Parliament unanimously adopted the resolution condemning Azerbaijan's aggressive military actions. Kanifa calls for peace in Nagorno-Karabakh. The first Armenian periodical Azdarar was founded on October 16, 1790 in Madras, India. National Assembly Speaker of the Republic of Western Armenia Leonardo Basmadian and Vice Speaker Lydia Margosian addressed a letter to the French national representation by the Parliament of Western Armenia. Ladies and gentlemen, the indigenous population of Artsakh living on their ancestral lands for more than 10,000 years is once again undergoing Azerbaijani aggression of unprecedented violence since September 27, 2020. Artsakh was offered to Azerbaijan in 1921 by the Soviet Union in an arbitrary manner against the international law and against the will of the Armenian people, a territory on which the Azeris pursued a racist and discriminatory policy against Armenians. After 70 years of colonial pressure, the Armenian people decided to implement their right to self-determination through the construction of their state structure in accordance with the legislation of the USSR and international standards by starting the process of secession from the USSR at the same time as the Soviet Socialist Republics of Armenia and Azerbaijan. It is is therefore not a question of separatism but of the right of people to self-determination. The foundation of the United Nations Charter in Article 1, Paragraph 2 and the application of the International Peace Treaty signed in Severs on August 10, 1920. This decision provoked massacres in Baku, Kirova, Batsum, Gate, killing thousands of Armenians in Azerbaijan. In 1991, the Azerbaijani aggression against the Artsakh Republic took place. The war caused thousands of deaths and resulted in the victory of the people of Artsakh exercising their right to self-determination and a ceasefire concluded on 14 May 1994. Today this new war of Azerbaijani aggression supported by the Turkish armed forces who make no secret of it target civilian population and legally falls within the scope of war crimes according to the Rome Statute and the International Criminal Court and International Humanitarian Law. This new war is directly linked to the question that remained unresolved, that of the definition of the eastern border of the Armenian state on the territory of Western Armenia recognized in 1920 by the Allied powers. The full version of the article will be available on our website. The son of Rustam Gasparian, former deputy of Prosperous Armenia Party, first Nagorno-Karabakh war veteran, was killed while Rustam Gasparian himself was severely wounded while defending the borders of the homeland during the first battles against the enemy. The president of Western Armenia, Armena Gabramian, expressed his condolences in which he said, I express my deepest condolences to the relatives of Gasparians. I share the boundless pain of the loss. The National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia prays for the health of the wounded Rustam Gasparian and for the Piece of the souls of the victims. Early in the morning, after about an hour of intense shelling, the Azerbaijani army launched a large-scale offensive in the northern direction of Artsakh. Artun Hovanisian, the representative of the Ministry of Defense of Armenia, on Friday morning wrote this on his Facebook page. Several times they tried to capture our positions by attacking, but thanks to the courage and skills of the Armenian warriors, they were thrown back, suffering considerably huge losses, Hovanisian added. On the night of October 15-16, the enemy opened intensive artillery fire in the direction of Garmishuga, settlement of Martuni city, and in the morning in the direction of Bertashan community. The settlements of Toh in Hadrut region, Tigranavan, Aigehovit, and Agavno settlements of Kashatak region were also shelled. The city of Milan has adopted a motion calling on the Italian authorities to recognize the Republic of Artsakh. The European Armenian Federation for Justice and Democracy reports. On 15 October 2020, in historical void, Milan became the first ever big European city to recognize the Republic of Artsakh. The resolution also strongly condemns the Turkish Azerbaijani aggression against Artsakh. The ambassador of Armenia to Italy was also present at the adoption of the bill. 
The Luxembourg Chamber of Deputies unanimously adopted a motion condemning the Azerbaijani aggression. The motion reads as follows. The Chamber of Deputies considering that the deadly struggle between Armenia and Azerbaijan over the sovereignty of Armenian populated Nagorno-Karabakh continues. Noting that Azerbaijan launched an attack on September 27, 2020 with the aim to take in control of Nagorno-Karabakh, realizing that ongoing battles are the most brutal after the 1994 ceasefire, noting that growing difficulties with the involvement of the third countries, particularly Turkey, recognizing that Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is providing political and military assistance to Azerbaijan by supplying Syrian mercenaries and military equipment, noting that Turkey has issued an ultimatum insisting that the ceasefire will be established only when, with the support of Yerevan, the forces leave the disputed territory, realizing that this military and political conflict involving the third parties could lead to a larger conflict calls on the government to clearly condemn the all military actions that contradict the provisions of the 1994 ceasefire, condemn any external interference with one of the parties to the conflict, in particular Turkish military assistance to Azerbaijan, support ceasefire initiatives in Nagorno-Karabakh, call for respect for the principles of the May 1994 ceasefire. Kanifa condemns the use of hostilities as a method of resolving disputes and believes in resolving the issue through meaningful dialogue. Kanifa is concerned over the escalating situation in Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Our thoughts are with the people who suffered losses due to the conflict, said Kanifa President Pera Anders Blind in a statement. Let us remind that in 2019, Artsakh hosted the Kanifa European Football Cup tournament, which has caused a great stir in the territory of the neighboring state. Among the participating countries was the national football team of Western Armenia, which took the second place as a result of the tournament. As that at the first periodical in the Armenian reality was published in Madras, India on October 16, 1794. The editor was the prized Harutyun Shumavonyan. It was published until 1796 and was stopped due to the financial difficulties. It was mainly published in Old Armenian, partially in Indian Armenian and New Julfa dialects. Asdaran was a scientific, historical, literary public magazine which reflected the life of the Indian Armenians, referred to the problems of enlightenment of the Armenian people, national self-consciousness and liberation. The periodical also published poems, fables, stories, educational articles with a moral content and informed about the events taking place in the South Caucasus. The magazine also urged the Armenians to return to their homeland. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Garin. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.